Hey there guys, let's make this delicious Escovitch chicken wings, fried breadfruit, fried bami, fried plantain and avocado. guys welcome back to my channel is chef with melcy here here i've got some chicken wings that i have cut into two to separate the drumettes from the wing bit they've been washed nicely with lemon and i'm just going in with my chicken seasoning first followed by my everyday seasoning i've got about two kilos of chicken wings here my all-purpose seasoning to that I'm going to be adding for that glorious color, my hot paprika, never cook without it, super amazing. I'm going in also with some chili flakes, wonderful, as well as some dried parsley. You can use fresh parsley if you want, but when I'm seasoning meat, I like to use dry parsley. I'm also going in with some garlic powder and I'm just gonna give this a nice little mix wonderful fantastic mix it nice in mix in all those seasoning make sure it's nicely incorporated and then I'm just gonna put that to rest for about half an hour whilst I deal with the rest of my ingredients Fantastic. Make sure all those wings and drummets are nicely coated. Super fantastic. Here I've got two eggs in a bowl, about three tablespoons of milk, and I'm just going to be giving that a nice little whisk and set that aside as well whilst I deal with my dredge. Fantastic. Making sure that all my, my eggs are nicely mixed in with my milk. Wonderful fantastic super okay so that's nicely mixed in i'm gonna go in now with my so i've got my all-purpose flour here and to that i'm gonna be nicely seasoning it with some dried parsley to begin with super and that is closely followed by my all-purpose seasoning of course wonderful i'm also gonna be going in with some everyday seasoning it's important to season your flour if you're frying chicken, whatever you're frying, so you've got that all-around flavor. I'm also going to be adding some chicken season to that, as well as some hot paprika for color. Super. I'm going to be going in, finally, guys, with some dried chili as well as some garlic powder give that a nice little mix wonderful and set that aside as well and we'll come back to that in a minute in a minute yes okay super now i've got my bami here super it is amazing i love bami love bami with fish with anything chicken with in your steam fish just fried on its own whatever it is so it comes round, guys and i've just cut it down the middle there into a half moon size and this is what i'm going to be doing it with it you can cut it that way super so half and half into quarters but i'm going to be going down and cutting it into strips super so you can cut it any way you want you can even do it whole fried whole you can fry it in half moon sizes it's up to you how you want to but at, on this occasion i'm going to be cut it into strips and then into small strips again fantastic super and this here is um one of the main thing that we have with fish in jamaica it is made from a ground provision called cassava 
wonderful don't know how to make it but yes i know that's part of the ingredients that it is made from in my bowl i'm going to be adding my bami's super and i'm going to be soaking that in some coconut milk you can soak it in bottle milk if you want to it's up to you you can soak it in almond milk whatever it is if you are lactose intolerant you can soak it in water salted water if you want to it's completely up to you okay so this breadfruit has been brought back for me from jamaica and it's been a while since i've had breadfruit and so i thought let me just add this today to my dish that i am going to be doing so i'm slicing it it's already roasted it was roasted um before it was brought back for me from jamaica so i'm just slicing it now nicely before i fry it super wonderful this is, is so tender guys you've got to be careful i'm just cutting away the imperfection there at the top of that fantastic just cut it nicely it's you've got to you've got to be so tender with this breadfruit yes but i absolutely love it i mean you can have it just the way it is but i like to fry mine and add a bit of salt to it yes so that's nicely sliced guys and i'm going to be starting to fry my plantain so i've got plantain on my menu today as well so i'm going in with my plantain first I'm going to be doing my plantain in one batch because I'm just frying one old plantain. Love plantain. Plantain must be add with every meal. Yeah, my opinion. Every meal. Just amazing. So turning those plantains over just to make sure that they are nicely fried. Wonderful fantastic those look nice and fried so i'm going to be placing them there on a little plate removing them from that oil fantastic super wonderful look at those plantains smells so good guys smells so good fantastic super so in my same pan here i'm just going to add some more oil to that wonderful and i'm going to be going in with my bread fruit be tender guys with that bread fruit be very tender yeah gotta be tender you know travel all the way from jamaica don't want to you know yes gotta look after it fantastic so i'm going in now with my bread fruit fantastic and this will take about three to four minutes on each side guys and once it's nicely finish frying then you can just sprinkle it with a little bit of salt completely optional by the way so yes oh that breadfruit has just brought me back home with that smell guys you see it's okay to get breadfruit here in the uk where i'm at roast it and then fry it but it's not the same when you get that breadfruit from jamaica nicely roasted on that hood fire and brought back for you it's just lovely so thank you to my friend yes that brought that back for me thank you so much i'm going to be enjoying this breadfruit today yes i'll be savoring every taste of that breadfruit super wonderful so i'm just nicely turning these now guys just to make sure that they don't burn wonderful look at that guys it smells so good oh this smell is just taking me back home home wonderful absolutely amazing and this can be add with anything can be added on its own can be added with tin mackerel you can have it with curry chicken brown stew chicken whatever it is you can have it with it so now they're nicely fried guys i'm just going to remove them from the oil and place them on a rack so they can nicely drain wonderful look at the color and those bread fruit yes <laughs> fantastic wonderful so now i'm going to be tending to my bami i'm frying it by the way in the same oil guys it's up to you you can change your oil if you want but um i'm not going to be changing my oil i'm just going to be adding that bami straight into that breadfruit oil fantastic super and again this should take about 
three to three and a half minutes on each side as it's been soaking in milk that's been nicely softened and so it's just oh tasty yes nice to soak your bami in milk yes fantastic so as i said this should take about three to four minutes on each side and then you want to turn these over after that time and make sure that both sides are nicely golden brown yeah like so yes like so that's how you want it that's exactly how you want your bami i mean you can fry it less if you want to you can fry it for longer it's completely up to you how you like your bami but this is exactly how i like my bami nice and crispy oh yes when you bite into it outside crispy inside nice and soft yes wonderful fantastic yes look at that oh amazing complete so now i'm going to remove in these guys and just putting it on my rack here as well you can also sprinkle some salt onto this guys or you can add salt to your milk well um that you've soaked your bami in it's completely up to you wonderful but i'm going to be sprinkling some salt whilst my breadfruit and my bami is nice and hot onto those super and that salt has gone on amazing Put that to the side and let's tend to our chicken wings so here i've got my wings and i've got my egg mixture i've got my salt my flour mixture as well and i've also got a clean plate to place my coated chicken wings brilliant fantastic so i'm going to be going in first into the egg wash then into the flour and then place that coated chicken onto that dry plate and that's exactly what i'll be doing until i'm finished coating all these chicken wings super wonderful there you go that's the first one there nicely coated super amazing guys and this is just so amazing. Sometimes you don't want to have a takeaway. And this is just a perfect way. Nice finger food kind of day. So my pan here is nice and hot. And I'm, just, and I'm just going in with my chicken wings one at a time there. Fantastic. Brilliant. And my heat here is on medium to high, guys. So medium to high. Wonderful. And I won't be overcrowding my pan I'll just make sure I've got enough room so they're nicely fried. So that's it. Won't be putting any more in there. Wonderful. Super amazing, guys. So these should be frying at least six minutes on each side. And I like to turn them at least three times just to make sure they're nicely fried straight through. Super. So I'm turning it for the first time here, guys. Yes wonderful fantastic super so give that another five to six minutes and then i will turn it one last time so there you go yes super amazing look at that look at the color in that so yes this is my final turn guys just to make sure i give that a nice little chance to fry again on that side crisping up nicely super this is just my choice guys you don't have to you can just turn it once or twice if you want to but i like to just turn it over so here it is guys i'm just going to remove this and drain it as well drain any excess oil that my chicken has soak up there fantastic brilliant look at the color on that chicken so amazing guys so amazing so here it is my batch is completely finished both batches and look at that excess oil there that has been drained away and that's the reason why you for me i don't normally put it on tissue paper so here guys i've got my escovitch chicken wings my fried bed fruit my fried bami my plantain and of course my avocado lovely guys lovely 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 i've also got a video up on that escovitch pickle that i made earlier on absolutely amazing 
don't forget to like share and subscribe guys i hope to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching goodbye